Hello guys, this is Hello Tech Gaming Heal, and we're gonna play some Star Trek New Horizons with a billion different other mods, actually. No, I'm not gonna go into the list of how many mods I added. You, you can just take my word for it that I added a lot, you know, so, so to speak. Let's see. Uh, so, we're gonna play as the the Federation, so we're gonna start as the United Earth, and we're gonna see if we can because I, I played through this before to make sure that there weren't going to be any game-breaking um, defects or bugs beforehand. And I found that, um, interestingly enough, or so there's actually the ability, if you, um, if you play on the original um, galaxy over here, actually, you can... Uh, you can end up uh, making the Federation or so. You can actually align with the the Vulcans and Dorians, the Telites. You can you can uh, basically make the Federation, United Federation planet, which is nice. So we're gonna start on um, now. This is the thing, if I do it on normal, this is going to be a boring playthrough as nothing's going to happen, the AI is just not going to attack me, and I'm just going to become so powerful that I'm going to steamroll the entire time. If I put it on hard, it's going to be challenging, but um, <laughs> there's a minor chance that things could go badly, so I'm going to put it on hard, and we'll just cross our fingers and hope that things go well. And I think we'll put like about like... Uh, 30 or something. Alright, and we will cross our fingers here. Like the Indolian ships here. Seems like they uh, took the main design and just expanded it. Alright, so let's see. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Uh, now, this is what I actually love about it. We have an Earth Space Star here. Very nice. We have the. Um, these are like some of the little escort ships we saw from uh, Enterprise, actually. And there's actually different um, errors or so. Like, first, this is the Enterprise error from the um, Star Trek Enterprise, that TV series. And then uh, we go into the original series, then we go into the uh, next generation, and then so on and so forth, actually. Which is actually pretty cool. Emergency backup generators, phase cannons. Guess we'll go with this here. Uh, I want to start expanding relatively quickly. I'll go with the uh, torpedoes here. So, this is our system here. Challenge your preconceptions, or they will challenge you. Oh boy. So we all have contact with the uh, Vulcan High Command here, interesting enough. Now, we need to become diplomatically relevant and basically surpass them in technology if we ever want them to be on our side. Oh wait, that's odd. So we actually, we start off with Mars already colonized, interesting enough. Oh, that's kind of cool. Alright, so we start with two colonies, or two, um... Yeah, two colonies, one or two, actually. Let's see, uh... Oh, I've been, oh and the solar system is like all surveyed. That's nice. Alright, so we'll go and start uh, sur surveying the initial systems here. Alpha Centauri, Wolf 359. It's going to have turned into a bloodbath for reasons, yes. I think the Borg or so from my last playthrough like somewhere over here. So that should be interesting to play against. Alright, so I think our first thing is we want to increase our... Do I want to go for science first? Science um, really does help us out, so let's go with science first, I guess. And let's start. Let's see how... Incoming transmission. Challenge your preconceptions, or they will challenge you. Challenge your Incoming preconceptions, or they will challenge you. 
Awesome. What do I want? Spatial Enemy rift. vessels detected. Oh, that's quick. I, I I'm guessing that the that uh what the developers of the mod actually made it so. Oh, we don't stand a chance against that. That's 602. But I I'm assuming that the developers of the mod actually made it easier to get the federation up and running because beforehand so it was actually quite challenging to get the federation together because like. You would li I I found a problem where I would have to spend most of my time trying to get the Fed um the Vulcans or so to join me because they would always I will get get the extra influence. But uh the Vulcans would never join the Federation and so like they would put up such a stiff fight because they would be either have more ships than us, more colonies or more technology and they would just in general, just not want to, to join us. So, so with um, Delta Vega. Huh, well, so this is actually going to the um, 2009 Star Trek uh, film. This is actually where Spock was basically watching Falcon get consumed complete. by a black hole. Wow, so th he really added some new um, technology. Oh, great. Automatic defense procedures initiated. Ah, I hate these aliens. We can't destroy them. Not because we're the Federation and we have to be good, but because of the simple fact. Cool, and a civilian trade. Oh my. We need quite a bit before we can Research completely company. get the soul system on our controller. War Tribe 2. Uh, let's see. Here. Research complete. Yeah. Seems Wolf uh, 359 is actually, uh, it has absolutely nothing, which I'm not really surprised of, but yeah, it's just an empty star. Fascinating enough. Okay, so we're gonna have to probably manually start with some of these here. Let's go with, uh, we have a good amount of power, so let's go with the Saturn up. I like the names of so, Sail, like all the ships have different names. You have the Sailison, the Young Cheng, the Abley, I think. And then we have the Columbus and the Marco Polo. And then we have these trade ships that like to go by. So I think they just go back and forth between our, our worlds. Research complete. back and forth between them. That's going to be annoying. Oh god. That's, that's, a, that's a bit. I don't think we can afford that yet. Alright. 
so... Yeah. Welcome High Command. Uh, High Command is actually in favor of our subject. Let them join, but, um, the work really was, apparently. Long range scan of planet. Oh, that's actually interesting, because this is the complete opposite of what I, um, what I had to deal with beforehand, so, in doing this, like, the first people to sign up to join, you know, my little coalition, basically, while the Vulcans were actually the last ones, because still, a bunch of arrogant pricks. That's actually kind of interesting. Research complete. Uh, let's see. So, what else do I need to do? Nope. You. What's oh, weird? This is like so absolutely small. Alright, so we'll take you and you. Enemy vessels detected. And you. Cool, so we'll get, uh. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm missing icons here, but these are. I'm just reciting a little component up here. Long range scan of planet complete. Yeah, why don't we change star charts here? Research complete. Challenge your automatic defense procedures initiated. Are you kidding me? Oh, s <laughs> we have no chance against those guys over there. There's like so many aliens around. It's insane. I do not have the money to afford these upgrades here. We're better off just making new ships. Which, in a way, is kind of odd considering, um... Well, let's see how I explain. So, like, Star Trek, for the most part, you have it well, you have ships that have been around for like 60 or 70 years or so, but they've been upgraded throughout that time to be still combat relevant, really. So, you have like a different approach to as well as, well you have Star Wars where they make completely different ships or so that are just absolutely more powerful. The, in Star Trek, they just end up, um, yeah, just investing in refitting ships over and over again, and so still making them technologically relevant with new weapons. Wow, that is actually a lot. I kind of want to fully max out the solar system before I start upgrading my ships. Anomaly found. Salt and that would not help us out. No, we literally want to get the Federation set up as soon as possible because the Romulans Research and the Klingons complete. will completely wreck our faces if we don't. Uh, okay, let's see. So why don't we follow that ship there? Nice. Can actually make a destroyer that we unfortunately cannot afford at this this state that we're in right now. Research. Can actually, can I just auto queue it now? Okay, awesome. Anomaly found. You know, 
they it seems like the uh, developer of the mod actually significantly reduced the the research uh, cost of getting upgrades. Research or the research completed. cost of getting different technologies or so. Yeah, how about no? <laughs> Unfortunately, we, we have to be the good guys, you know. Another weird thing is the fact that I think the science ship model is still from like the wow, it is really just moving fast. Yeah, it's from the original series or what? So that's that's kind of weird. I mean, actually, no. I think it's it looks like it has cells from like the the Enterprise era. Was so, interesting enough? Challenge your preconceptions. Uh, well, I'm glad nothing's changed with you guys. You still want us to challenge your preconceptions, yeah? Focus on getting more. Um, Cause that's the. That's actually a good point. You can either upgrade my. I can upgrade my. Oh, I found the bowlands. A migration treaty with them. We're not diplomatically relevant. Otherwise, we could instantly invite them to our alliance here. There we go, so we fully colonized there, so why don't we set some stations here now. Actually... One off on that. Anomaly found. If it like fully... Fully surveyed that system, yeah, we're gonna win on that. So while approaching uh, Alpha Centauri, um, I think that's yeah, that 4B, the USS Marco Polo was suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. Projectiles were billions of years old. Based on the trajectory, they appeared to be stray rounds far from a neighboring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for until millennia until finally. Today, they, they, the rounds we have received are of an advanced relay. That, that. <laughs> oh, so, so just out of, out of the blue, someone fired some kinetic rounds and they just, they just dwindled in space for thousands of years. That's insane. Kind of funny though, as well, to think that the race that fired those is probably long since gone, basically. Research complete. Alright, so what do we want now? Um, go with this here. Yeah, we need some more minerals. 
So with the gauge, how much they have by increasing it to the point, well, it says a thousand. And if we do a research agreement with them, and it's still gonna join all faction anyway, it doesn't really matter. Cool. Challenge your pick. See how much we can steal. Well, not that much, huh? Research complete. Long range scan of planet complete. Challenge your preconceptions, or they will challenge you. I uh, saw sure that's gonna get annoying after a while. Challenge your preconceptions, or they will challenge you. That is absolutely rubbish. Um, okay, so we actually have a lot of resources now. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to. After this entire is colonizable, so we're gonna make a colony ship. Research as complete. Well, as. Every single time I get an upgrade, the cost of upgrading my ships goes up, which makes sense, but it, it, it's sad. Ah, oh, great. No, no, go away. No. Okay. The friendly alien ships, they mean us no harm. Wow, that is a lot to upgrade those three ships there. No, it's cheaper than getting three new ones, as they're now looking like they cost, what, 500 each? That is insane. So yeah, we're gonna colonize Alpha Centauri, and... I want to first make sure that everything here is like completely decked out and so that we have all stations and everything before I start expanding to the out outreaches of space here. Oh, I, I should probably take care of this soon because we're going to have pirates soon and they're going to be a pass to deal with. Yo, know, Bolins, do you have... Let's see you. Not diplomatically relevant yet. You know, how, how, how much Long minerals do you have? Wait. Really? <sighs> yeah, I'll try to get for some starch. <laughs> Research complete. You backwards barbarians. <laughs> Initial vessels detected. Traded some starch on for that? That's pretty bad. I got plan thrusters. No, I guess in a sense I kind of like the f the focus of the uh, the mod. Station. Because instead of focusing on just making mass fleets, instead it seems to have a focus of instead trying to make the highest technologically and vessels you can have. So. Like, let's see where it goes. It's at 102 now. Ships upgraded. <laughs> it Station increased by almost complete. 300%. That is awesome. Completely outfitted these guys. So, there's like a big, um... Big sense that you're supposed to make smaller fleets that are just much more technologically advanced or so than to make uh, a bunch of capital ships or so, which is... I guess a nice Energy mix. Put uh, more emphasis on... Yeah, there's like more emphasis on just in general keeping your ships alive or so. And whatnot. And individual fleet battles. On top of that, it increases the slow sense. Like, uh, if you ever wanted an analogy on how um, a real stellar war would go out or so, this is really the best game for that. Because of the fact that um, production-wise is almost reminiscent of the Pacific War or so during World War II, where you can't replace ships, but you um, Long range scan of okay, so we found them and they kicked Research us out of the territory. 
but you can make new ships on war, but it costs a lot. And I guess they don't want to trade with me. It costs a lot to do so, and it takes a huge amount of time to do so as well. So it is preferable to have the most advanced ships you can possibly get, and make sure you have them all decked out and ready always or so like you you just always want to be prepared for any incoming attack or so by neighbors nice all right so we start our colony there but you just never want to be caught off guard you like always want to have a decent sized fleet because you just can't rebuild it at the time I should insult him or so. There we go. No, no, I mean like the tel telites or so. <laughs> the culture is awesome. Because you're supposed to insult them, essentially. So the entire society is surrounded uh, about, like, just insulting one another or so. And actually, given um, if you don't. <laughs> Like insult them, they consider that a form of weakness, which is interesting enough. I kind of like that as well. Uh, it's like the only culture where you can like go in and insult a person, call his mother like a bum or so, and like that's actually what you should be doing. Uh, I don't want to waste any culture on that. Cultural influence, my bad. It's my. Civilization 5 mindset coming into play. The thing to do is start uh, making facilities around Syria. Syria. I seriously need to start making stations around Syria. Wow, I, it took me so long to put that out so that I feel like it took away from the joke. Although, the terrible pun. Uh, wait, which, which is he? He's engineering, so we should, um, probably go with someone who specializes in engineering. Industry. Congratulations, you're hired. Okay, and what is this mandate? Orbital mandate, so I can get a bunch of... Oh, great. Pirates. Then I have my fleet set up here. I'm an extra slot here, but I don't think I have the capacity to make another was ship. Successful. Long range scan of planet complete. Let's see. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to wait a while before I can actually make another ship. Ah, oh, grand. Ships upgraded. Station. Complete. Yeah, we can't afford to uh, mine that. Even if our fleet gets wiped out, that's better than allowing all these stations Starbase to get destroyed. Under attack. Ah, blame pirates. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh, oh, hold on. Ah, so the developer actually made a good amount of work on the space battles or so. Look pretty nice. They look better for like fighters than anything. Well, maybe it might be one of the other mods, I'm not entirely sure. Kind of don't want to lose any ships here. Looks like our. Uh, Hit ratio is higher than theirs, and our invasion ratio is higher than theirs. Well, they just have more ships. Okay, let's get out of here. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the pirates are backing off. That's kind of what I wanted to happen.
All right, so just get these ships repaired. I probably should have assigned like an admiral to them. Um, let's see. Experience game. Congratulations, you've been hired. So the pirate base is somewhere over here. Let's destroy that base before they can attack us again. So none of our facilities are going to be safe as long as the pirates can freely attack us. Why haven't you gotten back to the solar system yet? You guys really taking the long way. Oh no, actually it's because I turned this down. Oh, so that actually takes resources away. Oh, oh wow, it is costing me so much to repair these vessels here. Oh, oh my, am I even going to be able to afford this? Long range scan of planet complete. Oh wow, so, so there goes all my money. <laughs> all my resources. Let's try to repair these vessels here. Alright. Fully repaired. Just cost me an arm and a leg. Research complete. Absolutely lovely. So we are broke again. <laughs> uh, maybe I should focus surface wide. Might be no it's not gonna be cheaper. Uh, they they still absolutely hate us because they don't see what psychotic hordes. Well, that makes sense. We're not diplomatically relevant yet, but we have so much that we just just need to become diplomatically relevant. Do, what, what do we have to do? Do we have to like sail over there? Ships upgraded. Station complete. Okay, let, let's sail over there and become diplomatically relevant, I guess. Show them that we mean business. A little bit of gun sh gun, uh, gunboat diplomacy here. Oh, there you go. Ah, oh, up like. Scan of planet complete. No, 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 no. Head back. Please tell me you just no. Starbase is under attack. Bloody pirate scum. It's gonna take us Research a complete. long time to get those. Those are probably gonna be gone by then. Ah, crap. Engaged. The more health than they do. Still don't have any shields. We have better weapons at BLA. Like. Come on, come on, come on. Destroy those pirates. Spatial rift? Oh wait, it's just going to cost me an arm and a leg to actually get those guys repaired, unfortunately. Fascinating. It seems the Vulcans are harbinging... Challenge your pre yeah, they're, they're holding on to some pilots apparently in the borders. Yeah. Yeah, they... I'm 
because we only have a research agreement with them. Transfer. A system. Yeah, alright. Yeah, if we could, if we'll do that when we wanted to. Research complete. Ah, oh, so apparently... The upgrade or the... Repairs do... <laughs> Actually, no, they don't go. Colors like doing absolutely nothing. Tell you what, why don't you be our ambassador over there? Seeing so, you know, you're not doing anything of any importance. Oh wow. Can I really not afford to actually repair my ships here? <laughs> no way. Okay, alright. Repair this cancel. You, you guys cost too much to repair. <laughs> Challenge your picket. Yeah. They have so much of this rubbish that. Really? So, no one needs any energy credits. That's grand. Ships upgraded. Station complete. Oh, did it fully repair them? So it's actually cheaper just to upgrade them than it is to repair current technology repair them. That's interesting. <laughs> what do you mean you can't? Research complete. You got one right there. Oh. Because you can't afford to, that's why. I can't afford to, that way. There we go. We get a survey all the bodies there until we become diplomatically relevant. Alright, so I guess I'll end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I should be making more in the future. As always, take care, and I will see you guys next time.